Taking a quick look at this Yeti Pro 4000. So this is an auto unit from Goal Zero, and this is something I'm really excited to see because, you know, I've been a big fan of Goal Zero. Um, I've had some Goal Zeros, and you know, the thing I've always liked about them is that the build quality, the aluminum construction, and the fact that they're based here in Utah, right? So um, there's just a lot to like. Now, obviously, their Yeti series is it's beyond outdated at this point but um you know it's still a good product it's just you know the specs aren't quite there but uh so yeah so guess what <laughs> we do finally have a new goal zero here the yeti pro 4000 as i said it is using lfp batteries and as the name suggests you know 4000 uh yeah 4000 watt hours so 4000 watt hours of lfp batteries that's gonna weigh a lot and it does so uh, 115 pounds is what this thing weighs without the wheels you know you're probably going to want the wheels <laughs> the, the little cart that they uh, designed for this thing you're probably going to want that too so that's another 10 pounds now something i kind of noticed about this that is a little bit weird we'll talk about this weight issue and the size issue a little bit here uh, at the end of the video and for the inverter 3600 watts and then here 1800 watt AC charging yet they're showing a solar panel so that, uh, I don't know what's going on with that but yes you know you can do up to 1800 watts from the wall which is about as fast as you'd want to try pulling out of your wall anyways there is an app yes you know so you can probably customize that charging speed and this is really big time specs so they mentioned 13 to 150 volts and up to 40 amps on this thing with a maximum cap of 3000 watts so yeah uh, you know big time specs with this and they are using that HPP port you know this is it's kind of like a proprietary port that they've kind of come up with but not really it's just an Anderson cable with the connector shuffled around a little bit and it is expandable up to 20 kilowatt hours so basically you know the main unit is 4000 watt hours 4 kilowatt hours and then each you know each extra battery is the same thing basically so you can get a total of five right you can get four extra batteries 20 kilowatt hours that's most you can get now interesting here they do mention that it's a rainproof design you know so that's not waterproof <laughs> but now let's just kind of go over the ports here real quick there's a lot of them here i'm just going to kind of cover the cover the main you know main ones we want to know about the first thing you want to know is that this is the front side of the unit this picture down here is the back side, so the front and the back are almost identical. <laughs> um, so yeah, on the left side there, we get the, the standard kind of 12 volt stuff. In the middle, we get four very well spaced AC outlets, right? I mean, this is a huge improvement over the old Yetis, which just had two that were jammed <laughs> right next to each other. Six USB, yeah, so really good stuff there. Three quick charge USB-As and then three USB C's although only one of them is a hundred watt and then you know we do get that 30 amp outlet right so this is kind of a big news the Yeti the Yeti series never offered that now let's just talk about the design here real quick so yes we still get you know the big news is we still get the aluminum construction that Goal Zero has kind of been known for not only is it just you know give it a nice solid impression but as I've talked about you know it's like passive cooling uh, aluminum can dissipate heat you know that's going to build up inside uh, extremely well this basically you know plastics like an insulator it's the opposite right it actually helps transfer that heat to the outside environment um, now with LFP batteries it's not as big of a deal as it, as it was when they were using NMC batteries right because LFP batteries can 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 excuse me handle high temperatures better but still, it's still a good idea because you still have all the heat from the uh, inverter and stuff, you know, everything that's sitting up here, right? So it's still a good idea. Basically, the batteries are down here. Tell me what you guys think about this idea. But I think this unit should have been, I think maybe they should have just had the inverter. You know, this section up here should have just been separate. That you would just, you know, stack on top of the batteries here, you know. So uh, to me, it just... Uh, you know 115 pounds that's <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty heavy right so i th i think maybe we don't have a spec you know for the weight of these expansion batteries but i think we can assume probably uh let's just say 80 pounds right i think 80 pounds is still very heavy but m much more portable so i think it would have just made more sense to have just the inverter and everything else you know the brains of the unit 
in a separate unit and then just have them have it you know stack on top of the batteries like like it's the whole system's designed to stack anyways now these front covers you know there's three sections here this is interesting because this is like a direct copy off of what we saw from the champion the champion power station that came out like last year also another american company and it's basically the same cover it's like plastic covers it's like a dark tint on them right so you can you can as you can see there you can kind of see in you can kind of peer in but it does just kind of clean up the look and then what's also nice about that too is you just flip these covers up and you know they stay up so yeah there's a there's an image right there now a design detail that i really like is the screen area uh, i kind of like almost everything about it to be honest um, you know, number one is that it's actually on an angle, so it's actually pointed up slightly because typically this thing's probably going to be below your line of sight, right? So that's just a really good idea. And then what I, kind of this cool little detail, check this out. You know, for the amount of power going uh, into the battery and then out of the battery, those sections of the display screen actually have like, you know, a little arrow kind of built into the, the the screen right so that's just kind of um i think that's just a really cool little design detail <laughs> and um you know something something minor maybe you don't think it's a big deal but to me i think that's i think it's just awesome really and then in, right in the center we get kind of a, a larger you know again just making it easy to read larger display screen now one thing i'm not happy about is we don't actually get a little storage bin. I think this would have been just great to have a little storage. But I love having storage bins on these uh, things. And the Yeti series had had the storage bin right on top. So yeah, it's just a quick overview of this new Yeti Pro 4000. You know, I think I, I really like uh, GoZero, as I mentioned before, being a U.S.-based company. You know, design engineered. Yes, um, probably this thing's going to be still made in China, just like their Yeti series. But still, you know, better than nothing. And the U.S. they have U.S.-based customer support as well. And they just, they really kind of go above and beyond with the uh, design details, the construction, right? I mean, the build quality uh, in these units is just something you typically don't see in power stations. And so, yeah, just kind of a lot to like here. And now we finally have a unit that's competitive, right? I mean, this is just big time specs. Now, of course, <laughs> big time specs, you got big time weight as well, right? So if the weight is an issue, you know, I'm going to go ahead and assume eventually we'll see some smaller Yeti Pro models, right? So um, that's that's actually what I'm most excited about. And so, yeah, there's just a lot to like with this unit. And so hopefully you just kind of found all this information, this overview helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.